So people of the Arrowverse, very interesting video that I'm finding myself making now just because I remember around this time last year, I could be wrong, maybe I'm showing something on screen, but around the Elseworlds crossover I was making a video around a similar rumour being that Tyler Hecklin Superman and Elizabeth Tulock's Lois Lane could very well be finding their own series. Ultimately back then that rumour kind of fizzled out, even though there were comments I believe from uh, various stars saying oh maybe something could come to fruition one day no matter what at the end of the day it, it wasn't a real thing but now everyone as you've probably come to learn from the title that superman and lois series in development at the cw starring tyler hecklin and elizabeth tulock get details now this is coming from every other kind of outlet you know every single one is kind of posting this story as this unfolds whether that's the hollywood reporter you name it and this is just very interesting news because not only have i actually seen this rumor come up recently um, you know, people were talking about it, kind of leaking it out prior, and then other people were kind of shutting it down, saying the rumors were false. So I didn't really look into anything about it, just because simply, um, you know, this has been shut down before, as I just mentioned last year. Um, and seeing it pop up again recently, I just didn't really think anything of it until you obviously see the trades kind of echoing this announcement around. Also everyone to just add more magnitude to this uh, being an actual thing for anyone who's just kind of thinking that this may still kind of be a little rumor even though everyone's reporting about it now. Tyler Hecklin actually just went to Instagram to say I could not be more grateful for the opportunity to tell this story. That for now shall remain a secret but I've been blessed with nothing less than the most wonderful people to do it alongside of. I, I couldn't have asked for a better partner than Bitsy Tulock in all of this. I've already learned so much from her and I know that won't stop anytime soon. So thank you Greg Balanti and everyone else who brought her in as our Lois Lane. All the people behind the scenes uh, care so much about these characters and their lives and the parts to which I will be speaking about. It gives me great comfort to know that they'll steer us in the right direction. Thank you to everyone that said yes to this project. Warner Brothers, DC, CW, we won't let you down. It's going to be a grand adventure. Can't wait to get to work. And that's actually like a really nice message. Like I, I'm, I'm really happy that he's very, very passionate about the role as well. But anyway, I thought I'd provide that one to you whilst I'm editing this video. I've actually added this in last minute. Uh, so yeah, just a nice little message from the Superman of the CW himself. And what do I think of this? Well, I think if I remember correctly, I said in my video last year, that I would be quite up for a Tyler Hecklin Superman reboot um, of a TV show, if you will. I say reboot, but you know what I mean. Just like a new Superman TV show. Just because um, from when I first watched him in Supergirl, now I don't watch Supergirl anymore, let me just say that. Um, I did like him. I know there's some people out there who, who don't really like Tyler Hecklin Superman, but I think he definitely does pull off a Clark Kent and Superman for sure. But it's already interesting to see some of the comments out there from people reacting to this news saying, oh, maybe I would have preferred a Brandon Ralph one. Um, but it looks like if this show is going forward, because they're saying it's, you know, in development at the CW, uh, so it very much so might be a very real thing. It seems, and I can only assume that Tyler Hecklin Superman is going to survive Crisis on Infinite Earths, and this kind of makes me think that Brandon Ralph's Kingdom Come Superman is likely going to bite the dust, maybe alongside uh, other people as well, of course, because Crisis on Infinite Earths is a very, very lethal crossover. So TV Line goes on to say in their article that the CW is looking to soup up its slate with a series about the iconic Superman and Lois Lane. TV Line has learned that Superman and Lois from Warner Brothers TV is currently in development and it will follow the world's most famous superhero and comic book's most famous journalist as they deal with all the stress, pressures, and complexities that come with being working parents in today's society. Society. Now, Tyler Hecklin, who originated the role of the Arrow vs. Superman slash Clark Kent on Supergirl, and Elizabeth Tulock, who made her debut as Lois Lane in uh, last year's Elseworlds crossover event, will reprise their roles for the prospective new series. But other interesting information to go alongside this is that former Flash showrunner Todd Helbing will pen Superman and Lois and serve as an executive producer alongside Greg Berlanti, uh, Sarah Schmetter, and Jeff Johns. So, so it really does look like 
like this is going forward and this is also coming alongside other TV shows that are being helmed for the next series of the Arrowverse if you will because that's another thing uh, that you know the Hollywood Reporter on their article goes to say that the development deal also arrives as the CW's president Mark Pedowitz has been open about what he called the next generation of his DC shows. So what comes along with this is of course the Green Arrow and the Canary show not that that's the title but that could very well be something like the title which a lot of people are still divided about i'm really really not a fan of those flash forwards so i'm not looking forward to that show but when considering a tyler hecklin superman show i'm gonna say i'm optimistic i'm not a big fan of batwoman at the minute i'm not a big fan as i just said with what they might be doing with this uh you know star city 2040 spin-off show uh, with the young Mia and the Canaries being Laura Lance and Dinah Drake. However, out of this new lineup from Mark Pedowitz, I do feel like Superman would have the most faith from me. So the interesting thing about this is that it's already in the works. It's already in development at the CW. I'm guessing that Crisis on Infinite Earths would just act as this kind of bolster or like booster for the series just to give, I guess, the network even more faith and reassurance that this is a right move with maybe people's reactions to Tyler Hecklin and Elizabeth II locks Lois Lane in Crisis on Infinite Earths as I'm sure they will have plenty of scenes. Of course we've already seen quite a lot of footage of both of them behind the scenes on Crisis on Infinite Earths so you know ultimately I don't really know where to completely sit with this until we get a little bit more information but at the very very earliest premise of this I think I will say that I'm optimistic. I don't want to say I'm excited just because I'm not very sure about where the CW is headed. Don't get me wrong I love The Flash. I love what they do with the show for the most part this season looks to be decent so far arrow within itself should go without saying but it's truly magnificent this season but it is also quite a stylistically different season versus the previous seasons of arrow with them even saying that arrow season seven was technically the last arrow season but with the future of the cw not a big massive endorser of batwoman at the minute and the way that show is going with the bland kind of vibes but that's just me personally uh you know the green arrow and the canary show that nobody is asking for it really is sounding like that's going off road as well and, and honestly from what i'm gauging from a lot of my viewers nobody is really excited for that every single week on my arrow videos as well nobody gives much of a damn about that future storyline especially the characters like mia but now with this news of superman it is kind of like a ray of sunshine through a very foggy cloud that is the cw's future i mean of course we've still got the flash season seven which you know is of course going to be a thing uh obviously season eight is a whole other question and what's going to happen with that but i feel like the cw would do a good job of superman but i could be completely wrong there because i've been optimistic about current things before and they haven't really done so well, at least in my mind. Um, and that should be self-explanatory as to what I'm on about there. But yeah, I guess, let me know what you think of this news down in the comments below, guys. How do you feel about Tyler Hecklin being the actual face of the CW for Superman? I know that's kind of been a thing for a while now, but you know, when you're actually getting a Superman and Lois show, well, that's a whole other bag, isn't it? Like, we actually have Superman on TV again. And and that's just really crazy to think about. You know, up until an, a certain amount of time ago with stuff in the movies, this probably wouldn't have been doable. It's kind of like what Bitsy Tulock has said before about, you know, if we were going to get a Superman TV show, and this is with regards to the rumors I was talking about, all the way back at Elseworlds last year. For example, when TV Line spoke to Elizabeth Tulock about this before ahead of Elseworlds, she said such an offshoot potentially could come to fruition, adding, I think it will depend on how the crossover is reviewed and a bunch of other external factors that nobody really has that much control over. I know Tyler and I would love to come back and work more together. We fortunately had great chemistry, which is not always a given. So that's what I meant earlier, by the way. I should have read that out earlier. And now here we are a year later getting this as a show. And, you know, it just makes me think of the whole Henry Cavill thing since that's been so out of the picture for quite a while now it makes sense how much room there is for something like this but then again i can truly imagine how many people are probably apprehensive of a superman tv show i think some people will be really ragey about this because i've spoken to many people about actually tyler hecklin as a superman and i've always said you know what I, I quite like him like there you know there are things here and there but you know i'm ultimately happy with him but i can imagine there's also gonna be a lot of people like now this is actually in fruition in terms of actually in the works in development at the cw maybe there's some 
some of you guys out there who are like, no, 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 just God, no, not, not this. I wish they maybe did it on DC Universe or something. I mean, I will always say that I would prefer a brand new superhero show to be made uh, with a slight kind of gritty edge that this uh, DC Universe has, sorry, over the CW. Don't get me wrong, I still love my uh, CW shows. So it would have been cool to maybe explore Superman with a bit of the DC Universe side of things and, you know, how we've got Connor Kent over there. But at the same time, we have had Superman on the CW for quite a long time now. And with everything just kind of dissolving in the main line movie side of things with the DC EU, I guess they felt it was about time to kind of maybe green light a series like this. Also, Todd Helbing, I know he's run, like he, he did make The Flash great in season one, but he's also responsible for the latter seasons, like season four, three, etc., and five, which also meant that many people's regards for those seasons wasn't really the biggest thing. So I'm kind of hoping, I'm not trying to put down Todd Helbing, I'm just saying I really hope that his luck with pilot seasons like The Flash and how well he did with that season rubs off on Superman and Lois season one rather than his latter work with The Flash season four and five, which I kind of wasn't a huge fan of. But anyway, guys, I've been talking way too long as it is. Um, kind of exciting news. I mean, maybe you're a lot more excited than me. I'm just quite apprehensive these days because just because news like this comes out doesn't mean we should lose our head straight away because I've done that before and I've kind of been disappointed as a result. I mean, I can name a billion different things, but you guys, if you watch me, probably know what I'm on about there. But all of that remains to be seen. So once again, guys, leave me all of your thoughts down in the comments below. Let's make this a proper discussion-based comment section. Let me know the pros and cons that you think there are of making Superman and Lois TV series with that of Tyler Hecklin Superman, you know, on Supergirl's Earth even though this will be post-crisis now, but whatever. And then obviously Elizabeth Tulock uh, as Lois Lane, who I really much so enjoyed in Grimm when, uh, way before she even came to the CW. But like this video, if you did enjoy it, everyone, I'm sorry that this was kind of like a rambly, discussion-y kind of video, but with news and breaking news like this, I'd rather just get it out to you and spill my thoughts uh, on the table, so to speak. So just do the same. Uh, check out my social media in the links down below, but join my Discord server as well to talk about this with me personally. I'm quite active in my server, so it'd be great to see some discussion from you guys there. The top pin comment will always have, well, always usually have the link to my Discord server where all you need to do is click on it and then it will make you join. We've got a lot of members in there now. I think we've surpassed 1,500, so that's awesome. Check out my Batwoman video that I uploaded earlier today. It was my review of episode four. And let's just say uh, I'm finding things fairly interesting <laughs> over there. But you just gonna have to wait and see and click on that for yourself to find out what I mean by that. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you super House of L people <laughs> in the next video. Goodbye.